So we're two days away from the live stream. The live stream which will inform us about everything in terms of the Halloween event, the upcoming character, and the beginning of the half anniversary celebration, right? Leading into the half anniversary basically, right? Starting the hype, all that good stuff. Now, our next thing to really focus on, on who, well, sorry, on Isla. The, the next character, the Dark Support, because that is basically the last character before Thomas releases, so, look. I said it before, I'ma say it again. Right, the, dev the, the, the developers are aware that it is the final character, and so, you know, I'm expecting something crazy to happen for this support character. Now, with all that being said, um, we might have a little bit of a look on what she might be potentially doing, to give us kind of like, a bit of a foundation on where she's at. So obviously huge thanks to MJ as well as obviously Natter for the source and big ups to once again Alpha doing his behind the scenes shenanigans. I appreciate the love right there. So we got a bit of an early look on um, I guess what we could expect from Isla of course. Um, so again in two days we'll get the full on confirmation on what truly is going down on what they've like chosen to keep I guess in terms of what her skills are going to be so taking a little gander just to get a little vibe of feel for what we're looking at core attack Isla releases a dark energy wave that provides a random team wide enhancement okay this effect can either increase the team's damage shield them or enhance their critical abilities for a limited time I reckon I mean well First things first, if that's on the core attack, that's that's fantastic. Um, and if it is like a a world, a, a team-wide enhance, wait, that's insane. A core attack that provides a team-wide enhancement, regardless if it is shielding, damage reduction, or more on the offensive side, and I hope it is more on the offensive side, that is crazy. Limited time, probably 10 seconds, I'll say, maybe. Okay, skills. Uh, Isla heals the team inst instantly. Ooh, okay, instantly. While also clearing harmful zones. Debuffer, removing. Okay, we like those. Around them. Not only heals, but also provides a temporary cleansing effect. Removing detrimental conditions from allies. Ooh, hold up. Wait a minute. A temporary cleansing effect. Wow. Okay. Well, that's exactly what we've been looking for <laughs> in terms of a, uh, a cleanser, like an all-round cleanser, not only on the character, but uh, as well as the, um, uh, the, the the zone around everyone. So that's already insane. Also can... Uh, wait, what? She can also bring a knockdown effect that will also uh, activate a temporary enhancement that boosts dark damage output for dark aligned team members. Charlotte Harper. There we go. As expected. Um, but I will say the healing and the debuffing removal in terms of anything on the ground or the zone that you're in as well as giving you some form of cleansingness on uh, with the debuffs that you have that you might have actually that is ridiculous that is that that okay so already she is uh, being one hell of a healer okay support skill I just heals her allies while dispelling harmful areas and applying a random buff to the team, either boosting their damage, shielding them, or amplifying critical stat. I feel like she is going to be amplifying crits. Just because of how um, Charlotte and Harper are uh, working, again, in, in terms of to get, get, get an idea on um, how um, uh, Isla will be working, you know, you can get a rough idea on how these two girls work, and I truly do believe um, crits will be catered to through Isla to buff these girls up even furthermore uh, so that's insane but overall if it is damage boosting or crit stats increasing on the support skill that's wait that's on the support skill would that be classed as the QTE skill though mm, all right whatever uh, I mean I'm, I'm, no unless the QTE does something different or it could be just, I mean well then again no support skill gives uh, allies heals okay so that is support skill okay that's fine I'm curious on what the QTE will do um, unless, I, I, I don't, unless it doesn't do anything then all right but for a support skill that's fantastic and I hope it is crit stats increasing please um, ultimate skill uh, powerful dark element attack with knockdown effect she can activate two distinct modes here Ooh, one that enhances the team's healing and defense or another that amplifies their damage. What well, if she does both? <laughs> well, it says two. Okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, 
yeah, if, yeah, it's it's gonna be damage surely. I, I'm I'm because I'm really hoping for a big big push for Charlotte. Charlotte, Charlotte needs it in my eyes. So looking at the passives, her passive abilities offer various enhancement boost to speed. Ooh, okay, that's something new. I hope that it's not just speed. If she can also affect attack speed, that would be crazy. But regardless, we'll take that. Immunity to slowing effects. Slowing effect? Has there ever been a slowing effect? Ooh, okay, that, that could be something, potentially. I, I, don't, I don't ever recall having issues with a slowing effect uh, that, that's that been applied to us. Anyway, uh, increased defense and etc. Uh, she can also improve specific dark-related team abilities, uh, particularly for the ultimate, there it is, for the ultimate damage, and activates all her random effects at once to remove reliance on, oh, to remove reliance on luck. Okay, that sounds fairly interesting. But yeah, there's the um, ultimate booster. I, I knew she was going to be an ultimate booster. Yeah, so th this this upcoming update, it's basically ultimate boosting by, <laughs> by the looks of it. But um, yeah, I'm going to be honest. The way that Isla is coming across in terms of with the rough info that we have right now, um, I am very, very interested to see on what the uh, overall outcome would be. Um, if they keep up with... Obviously, I mean, clearly she's going to heal. That's a, that's a no-brainer. If, if they keep the instant healing to then the cleansingness, not only for us, the character, in terms of the debuff, but also cleansing the area around us, to have that full cleanliness as well as healing, that is just a perfect one-hit wonder package for being a, a crazy good healer. So that pretty much just ticks all that boxes. Um, in terms of the other side of it, to where if it's going to be defense and offensive that she's going to be catering to, I truly do believe it's going to be crit stats that she's going to be amplifying a lot of maybe a little bit of offensive increase in terms of attacks and then obviously um ultimate uh, uh through the passives that uh, she could very well um as like an all-rounder uh, provide some form of survivability but then ultimate boosting of course and maybe a slight little hit actually well no if 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 the skills are going to provide well yeah, if the skills are going to provide enhancing on crits, then I assume the ultimate and maybe survivability could be found through the passive, right? As well as all, everything else, right? So, yeah, she might not be a skip. I mean, definitely uh, a character that I would say get a copy of. Definitely a character that's worthy of getting a copy of. Because I feel like with her initial kit, um, if, if, if they commit to with what we're seeing right now, to apply onto her initial kit especially in her initial passive then that is going to go a long way to help out a lot of people in terms of setting up their dark element um Isla is in my eyes the the, the key character here the, the key component um to furthermore elevate the two girls because as i've forementioned um harper is a fantastic breaker don't get me wrong you know charlotte is also a nice little dps but um they are missing that one character to kind of fully elevate them to where they need to be because I've mentioned it before in terms of Charlotte and, and like when it comes to DPS, out of all the DPS characters, I, I, I regard the others uh, above Charlotte. Charlotte has come as a bit of an underwhelming character and I've, and I've said it before that we're kind of waiting on her support to see where she can truly be at in terms of maximizing her damage output. And uh, yeah, Isla is looking like that character. But um, that is everything that we, ha that we know of. I'm highly impressed. I, I knew they were going to go all out on this character, but we'll get further confirmation in two days' time when the live stream goes live. Well, technically, yeah, no, yeah, two days' time. I think the live stream's on Tuesday. Yeah, so, yeah, that is. Oh, no, it's on a Wednesday because it's always hours before the um, update goes live, right? Now, oh, they'll announce it, right? <laughs> Alrighty, you guys. Well, I'm going to call it there.